Well, praise the Lord, everybody. We thank God for you for coming in to join us at the Bethel Outreach Church of our Lord Jesus Christ here in the city of Lutz, found at 16134 Hannah Road. And praise our God. We want you to know that you're always welcome, that you're always appreciated, whether you're in the house or whether you're online. Certainly, we know that God is working in our favor. Today, we are coming to celebrate the fact that we have come to another Pentecost Sunday. It is a reminder that after Jesus Christ ascended, that he didn't leave us by ourselves, but that he sent the Spirit of God to lead us and guide us in the way that we should go. And so today, I want everybody in the house, if you will, just clap your hands. And we begin to praise God if you can put your mind on the King of Glory. Certainly, He will come in. He will come in. He will come in. We need Him to come into the house because He's that kind of God. Without His leadership, without His guidance, without His presence, we're just here networking. We're just here hanging out to say that we're together and that we've been in a building together on a Sunday morning. But when Jesus shows up, Changes the whole atmosphere. Changes the way we feel. It changes the way we think. It changes the way we perceive things. When Jesus shows up, you cannot remain the same. So at this time, as we stand to our feet, Brother Orange, if you would just get a scripture for me this morning, please. I'm going to ask you to come and read our scripture after we have prayer. Let us bow our heads together. Lord God, our Savior and our Deliverer, we thank you. We thank you for the, another opportunity to enter in a day that you have made. And our souls rejoice and we are glad in it. We're glad for the breath that you've allowed us to breathe. We're glad, Lord God, for the ability to look upon your creation and see the beauty of your handiwork. Oh God, when we stepped out, we could feel the breeze and we could hear the chirping of the birds and we could see the greenery and all of the beauty of the flowers. And it reminded us of how great our God really is. Oh God, when we looked up in the sky, the beauty of the clouds, the, the different colors, what God, and the array of colors in the sky. It reminds us that you are a great and an awesome king of glory. Now, Lord God, we come to humbly bow before you and to exalt your holy name as a unified body in Christ. Thank you because you said on this rock you would build your church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. We know that the enemy is fighting on every side, but we are assured that we have victory through you. And so we are rejoicing on today that no matter what comes our way, that you are still able to give us the victory, that we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ our Lord, that there's more with us than with them, that Lord God bring evil and destruction, there's more with us through Christ our Lord, and so we praise you now because you brought us peace, we praise you now because you brought us joy, we thank you now because you lifted us out of dark places with your love when nothing else could help, thank you because your love lifted us. That we want to give you praise. Oh God, on today, we ask you to bless every Lord God individual that walks in the door. Oh, whatever their need may be. Oh God, let their need be met through the power of the Holy Ghost. Because the first thing we need is you. Oh God, we need you to show up in our life. Save and deliver. Renew our strength. Restore our joy. Remind us of how great you are and how awesome. So your name is for the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run therein and they are safe. Thank you for being safe and saved through the power of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we ask you to heal and set free and make whole, complete us in you. Oh God, help us that our minds will stay on you so that you could bring us in perfect peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now Lord God, help Help us to forgive those that have mistreated us, those that have spoken harshly against us, those that have done evil things against us. Help us to forgive so that that is not a weight in our life, so that doesn't hinder us from moving forward in Christ. 
Help us to let it go and to look up and live in Christ Jesus. And then, Lord, help us to speak words that are edifying, words that are uplifting, words, oh God, that are comforting and assuring through the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. Fill us with your word and let your word be a lamp unto our feet. Let your word be a light unto our path. And we will praise you for this in advance. Somebody clap your hands and give it some praise in the house. Oh, yes, give it the highest praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we will ever praise you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And this time, the reading of the word. My brother, Bori and Shiva, let's receive it with a heart. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. He is an incredible God and he is 
worthy of incredible praise.
And I just want to remind you to hold on. That no matter what happens, no matter what you're feeling, to remember to be all in, hallelujah. To press on and to give God praise, hallelujah.
Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. If I'm doubting, help me to remove the doubt. If I'm wavering, help me to stop wavering. If I'm trying to scatter the fits, oh God, help me to become stable in you, Jesus. So whatever it takes, I want to be all in Jesus. I want to be all in. Anybody want to be all in with Jesus? With all of my heart, with all of my soul, with all of my might, with all of my strength. Yes, Jesus. I want to be all there, Jesus. But I need you. Lead me, Lord. Guide me, direct me. And I'll give you the praise. I thank God for being in the household today. Let's give the Lord a hand praise for our praise team on this morning. The Lord has blessed us through their faithfulness and through their dedication to serving the King. We have been blessed in this sanctuary on this morning through the songs of Zion. Sometimes when you're down, you need to get you a song. That the melodies of God's word is ring in your heart, in your spirit, in your soul. I want you to stand with me as we go to the word of God on today. And everyone knows that this is Pentecost Sunday. For us, it's special day because we know that this is when the Holy Ghost fell in the church. The church was birthed because of the outpouring of the Spirit. We just want to read a couple of scriptures. Then we want to go into the Word of God. second chapter of the book of Acts, which should be very familiar to all of us, starting at the first verse. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and filled all the house where they were sitting. They appeared unto them clothing tongues like as a fire. They set upon each of them and they were fit, all filled. Somebody say all. Oh. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. They began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. I want to stop right now. Lord God, our Savior, we thank you now for just being God. We thank you because we know that beside you there is none other. Lord God, you have created all things for your glory. And by your hands we were all made. So as your creations we come together to honor you and to praise you. To bless you and to worship you. And to thank you for all that you've done in our lives even unto this very hour. Lord God, as we go into your word on this morning, we ask you to allow your spirit to lead us and direct us in the way we should go, the words we should say. Let the ears of your children be open, let their hearts be receptive. Let them hear the word, those that are not saved. Say, what must I do to be saved? Lord, let them be filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost in this hour. Don't let another day go by, we pray. Don't let another moment pass them by. Fill them, O oh God, until they come run over with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. And we will ever praise you for this. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
we will give you the glory. In Jesus' name. God's appointed time. God's appointed time. Some would say in God's appointed time. When we look in this chapter, we understand that Jesus has already died already been buried, already rose, already declared that I have all power in my hands, already began to appear and disappear in the presence of his followers and his disciples to declare with infallible proof that I yet live and I no longer did it. The disciples seeing him Spending time with him, knowing that he was now victorious over death, hell, and the grave, is in a conversation with him in chapter one. Jesus meets them and begins to talk to them about what is to come. The Bible says, while they were assembled together, he commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait. For the promise of the Father. And saith he, ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized you with water. But ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. It won't be many days. But the Holy Ghost that I told you was coming. The Comforter. The Counselor. The Instructor in Righteousness. The one that's going to guide you through the different events that you're going to face in this world. The one that's going to bring all the things back to your remembrance that I have spoken in your ears. That I left for you in the word. That I will leave for you through my apostles and my disciples. He's coming. And it won't be long. Somebody need to tell them hallelujah. It may seem like it's going to be long. But I'm telling you, it won't be long. The Holy Ghost is going to fall on you. And when it falls on you, you're going to have power. The Bible declares that when they came together, like humans, they were more concerned about the natural. They were concerned about when Jesus was going to reign in his glory and in his power. Because they knew that when Jesus restored the kingdom of Israel and restored order in the earth, that they too would be able to reign with him. And the Lord says unto them, the time and the seasons are not for you to know. But the Father has put it in his own power. And has it in his own power to determine when the kingdom is going to be. Or will come to pass. And be manifested. But what I want you to focus on now is when the Holy Ghost is going to come. And so you're worried about the kingdom, but I'm worried about your salvation. You're worried about the kingdom that is to come, and I'm more concerned about souls that are lost, that need to be set free. You're more concerned about reigning in glory. And I've chosen you to be heirs to the throne of glory. Yet, I've appointed you to be priests in the earth. So that men that are walking in darkness can see the light of God shining in you. And 
by your good works began to glorify your Father which is in heaven. So while you are worried about reigning in glory, I'm more concerned about you living a holy life in the world. I want you to know the world needs to know that I am Jesus that was dead in the natural. But now I live and I live forevermore. And not only do I live forevermore, but I left unto the disciples the gospel, which is the good news of the death and burial and resurrection of our Christ. And I left the good news that I am going to reign throughout eternity. I left the good news that no demon in hell has power over the authority of heaven. And while you are going through, land of sorrow and struggle and you are a pilgrim in this world I want you to know that you are not just a man a pilgrim in this world but you are a citizen of heaven I want you to know that you are equipped amen, with the authority of heaven behind you and when you are suffering and when you are struggling and when you are going through your dark hour you don't have to go feeling like you're defeated and then you don't have to go through feeling like you're all alone you don't have to go through feeling like you're never coming out but I want you to remember and then that just like I suffered and then just like I was afflicted and then just like I was mistreated and then just like I was lied on and persecuted and then just like men did all and an evil against me and then falsely and then I want you to know this that when you are going through in the world I'm still with you and then and yay though you may walk through the valley of the shadow of death and you don't have to fear the evil that surrounds you and then because I'm with you even up to the end of the world and don't worry about what's coming later down the world of the road. And then because all things have to operate in my time. Praise the Lord you're worried about your time. And then but your time is in the middle of my time. And then generations will come and generations will go. But I want you to know that I will stand forever and if you're going to put your trust in anything you better put your trust in the Lord some may trust in chariots and then some may trust in the horses but we will remember the name of the Lord our God why is that because in him all things are it may look impossible for you to come out of your struggle, but in the Lord, it's already been fixed, and then the situation has already been worked out, and then the victory has already been proclaimed. All you have to do is hold out until God's appointed time is fulfilled. Look at Jesus as he stepped up on the cloud and was taken out of their sight. And it looked like he had left them by themselves. But the Bible declares in the same event there were two men standing by them and reminded them why. Are you standing here gazing up into heaven? I want to remember what he said to you. I'm going to prepare a place for you. That if I go and I prepare a place for you, I'm coming again. And you need to recognize he stepped up on the wings of the morning. But he's going because unless he leaves here, you won't have nobody to intercede for you. But he's going hand of the Father. And when you get there, he's going to kneel in a posture of prayer. And praise God, he's going to pray for the saints. I don't know about you, but I'm glad 
brothers is still praying for me. When men stop calling my name, I'm glad Jesus is still praying and calling my name. I'm glad that when I'm struggling, just like Stephen, Stephen said, I may be in death, but I see Jesus standing up on the right hand of God. I believe 
cross can be right now. I don't have to let the enemy have room in my life. I don't have to let the enemy take up space in my home and in my family. I don't have to give room to let them steal my blessing and rob me of the riches of glory. And the 
spirit of the Lord is already here. Tells you feel his presence. And then all you gotta do is open up your mouth and give him the glory. He said, I so wonders in heaven above. I'm gonna show signs in the earth beneath. Somebody said blood and fire and vapors of smoke. Somebody said hallelujah.
could have saved them right then. But 10 days later, the Holy Ghost came. It was God's appointed time. So I'm asking you to be ready. Because he has an appointed time for all things. And he will come back for people that are ready and prepared to meet him in the air. Somebody clap your hands and give him some praise. Come on, stand to you. Just a few moments. Thank you, sister. A few moments. Whatever you lack, whatever you need, if you missed your moment or you feel like you missed your moment in the past, I said, the Lord said, it's not my will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. He said, I came to seek and to save that which was lost. So no need to be lost today. No need to be outside of the will of God. No need to be outside of the plan of God. No need to lose hope. God has an appointed time for you. And he wants you to come that you might be saved. And if you come, don't come down in God. Don't come to the altar and doubt that God can save. But if you come, I want you to open up your mouth and praise him. I want you to lift your hand and thank him. Because you know that he's about to set you free. You don't have to thank God for what God already promised you. All you have to do is praise him and worship him and thank him. Because the Holy Ghost is always already being poured out. For those that will move by faith. Those that will trust. That he is a rewarder to them. That diligently seek after him. Why don't you come this hour? Why don't you just stretch out my feet and let him do what he said he would do? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.